J.D. Vance doesn't like being called weird. Also, he thinks immigrants are abducting and eating cats. Chris Graham, Augusta Free Press. This is from the You Can't Make This Stuff Up department. J.D. Vance uh, is trying to get people to believe that immigrants are stealing people's pets and eating them. And no, that is not weird at all. This is from a tweet on Monday from Vance. Now, this is a guy who is a sitting member of the U.S. Senate who is running for vice president on a major party ticket. He's not a Saturday Night Live comedian. Uh, he's not a fringe candidate. He's a mainstream candidate. Months ago, I raised the issue of Haitian illegal immigrants draining social services and generally causing chaos all over Springfield, Ohio. Reports now show that people have had their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. <sighs> that was Vance himself. I mean, it's not it's not parody. On Tuesday, the uh, Springfield Police Department said, nope, that's not happening here. And Vance's response was to double down. In the last several weeks, he tweeted, my office has received many inquiries from actual residents of Springfield who've said their neighbors' pets or local wildlife were abducted by Haitian immigrants. It's possible, of course, that all these rumors will turn out to be false. Yeah, it, they might turn out to be false. And in a follow-up comment, he said, don't let the crybabies in the media dissuade you, fellow patriots. Keep the cat memes flowing. This is from a guy who was flooded with memes himself involving a couch. Um, that's all we'll say there. Uh, he's a guy running on a national ticket who would not only be next in line to be president of the United States, but given Donald Trump's age, obvious mental decline, and general terribly poor health, this guy is going to be the commander-in-chief at some point between now and 2028 if enough Americans decide they hate their country enough to, to elect these weirdos. Only thing you can call them. Sorry, it's the only thing you can call them. I want to give you some advice here as we wrap up. If you haven't already watched the movie Idiocracy, I highly recommend it. It's a tough watch, I'll admit. Uh, it's it's... It's hard to think that our country is it could it, it, this was this movie came out in 2006. It was hard to watch it then and think the country might move in the direction that that movie suggested. But it's now moved from the category of comedy to documentary. <laughs> if you have anything for me to look into, including people making up stuff about other folks eating cats, uh, feel free to email me at chris at augustafreepress.com.